Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, a bunch of Fire Emblem characters entered a fighting game tournament, and everyone was really pleasant at how many Fire Emblem characters were present. Not a single person was upset about it whatsoever. In this episode, we're returning back to... Listal. I remember the names of the towns and stuff. And we are reporting back to Emeryun about the army that we got for us that we're going to use in the war, and I know terminology too, sort of. So, let's get on with the show. Then Regna Ferox will support you, Lissy. Thank you, Krom. I knew sending you was the right choice. Mm. You should see Ferox as warriors. Perhaps now our people will be safe from... Your Grace! M my lord, forgive me, but I bring alarming news. What's happened? Fila, slow down, please. Right away. Plesian soldiers have been sighted inside our southwest border. They attacked a village in Themis and abducted the Duke's daughter. <gasps> but that would mean... Maribel! Krom, we have to do something! <sighs> There's more. King Grangle of Plegia claims Lady Maribel invaded his country. He demands we pay rep he demands we pay rep repair reparations for his insult. What can you just want cash? Gods. And we're to believe a dastard like that, mad king of Plegia? Enough. Peace, Krom. We must keep our wits about us. Still. We should put a sword in his gut and be done with it. The Mad King has been trying to provoke war with Ulysses at every step. He won't stop until he drags this whole continent to heck with him. Yes, my lord. I agree with the prince, your grace. We must demonstrate to Plegia that such actions have consequences. I understand your feelings, Krom. Truly, I do. But if we give him the war he wants, then we lose, no matter what the outcome. Our last conflict nearly ruined the entire Haildom. It left Ulysses homeless and starving. We cannot repeat that mistake. I will offer parley. With King Grangle. <gasps> and no, you can't! Please reconsider. Your Grace, he cannot be trusted to act in good faith. So either we choose to march to war, or leave Lady Maribel to die? No, I will not accept that. Very well. Forgive me, Your Grace. I spoke out of turn. I know you will stand always by your own principles. Pray, allow the Pegasus Knights to accompany you, though. <laughs> I'm going to. Someone has to save you from your good intentions. Mm -hmm. And I want to be there for you and Maribel. As you wish. Thank you all. Your strength will be mine. Are you ready? Well then. It's been a long march through the western mountains to the Pelagian border. Oh, hey! Captain, I'm all packed! When do we leave? <clears throat> Rickon, how did you... Go back inside. You're not old enough for this mission. Aww. But Captain, you know my skill with magic. You know I could handle myself. <sighs> I'd feel safer with your magic here, protecting the garrison. Alright, we're off then. Be good. Be good? Gods, how old does he think I am? Well, I'll show him just how good I can be. Okay, got a couple of things opened up to us. Rocks unlocked. The Outrealm Gate has opened on an island to the south. Uh, for the Outrealms, this is... For DLC, this game does have quite a bit of downloadable content. I'll have a list on screen of all the different chapters and stuff. A lot of DLC, as you can see. I'm not going to be covering 
any of it at this point in time. Maybe in the future we'll have bonus episodes. But I would recommend if you are interested in this sort of thing that you get it sooner rather than later because I don't know how much longer the 3DS has to go in terms of its lifespan. And if Nintendo ever decides to pull the plug on its uh, internet capabilities, you won't be able to get this DLC in the future. So I would recommend actually uh, just looking into it and seeing if it's worth your time. Basically, they're just little mini episodes. Some of them are uh, fun extra maps for uh, people who are fans of old Fire Emblem games. Some of them can get you extra characters that you could use, I believe, in the main story, though it might only be for after game stuff. And some of them are related to characters in the actual game. Some of them are related to old characters from old games. Uh, look into it and see what you think if it's worth your money and worth your time. Uh, this guy got a battle right here. So sometimes regular enemies or groups of enemies will pop up and you could ha just have a regular battle that doesn't progress the story. So in case you need to level up your characters a bit or grow some relationships with characters since you often won't be able to have all of your characters on the field at once. This is a good way to do so. I, like I said, I'm not going to go for 100%. I'm not going to be trying to max out every character and get every relationship maxed out. So for that reason, I am probably not going to be going after these unless I really need to. If I'm really struggling with uh, the main story. And finally, uh, this is just another shop to us right now. So I guess we could go. There's an iron bow there. Uh, I basically, I really only buy things when it's detrimental right in the there and now. So for now, I guess we are good. Let's go and start chapter five. What's this? The Exalt herself in all her radiance. I fear I must shield my eyes. <laughs> King Grangle, I've come for the truth of this unfortunate incident between us. <laughs> the truth? I can give you the truth. I beg your pardon. Perhaps Milady might first share her name. You may call me Aversa. <laughs> Very well, Aversa. Is Maribel unharmed? Oh, yes, the little blonde brat. Wretched beast. Unhand me, you gutter born troglodyte. What the fruit? <gasps> Maribel! <sighs> Lissa? Darling, is that you? <laughs> this girl crossed the Plegian border without our consent. And what's more, she wounded the brave Plegian soldiers who saw it only to escort her safely home. No! That's lies! You speak nothing but lies, hag! Did they not teach you the meaning of the word truth in this wretched crone school? <laughs> you see, no manners at all. Such a nasty little bird simply had to be caged. Such a violent temper speaks to her guilt. This will call for a weightly punishment. And if she were to later confess to being an Elysian spy... My goodness. So... It says an Elysian, so... I might be pronouncing Elysian wrong this entire time. It might be Elysian. So, if that's the case, I apologize for completely butchering the name, but then again, it wouldn't be the first time I butchered a name and just went along with it, so let's just go with what I... So, let's just go with it. It would take an act of considerable good faith to repair our relations. I've done nothing wrong. It is they who should confess. They are the ones who invaded Ulysses. They raised an entire village. When I attempted to intervene, they took me and dragged me across the border. Let the plundered shops and charred homes of the village serve as my proof. That would only prove Ulysses has a bandit problem, something I hear oft of late. But indeed, tonight I shall weep salty tears into my pillow for your dead villagers. Your grace, please. Yes. Please, Maribel, I believe you. 
King Grangle, I request that you release this woman at once. Surely you and I can sort out these affairs without the need for hostages. No. Without so much as an apology, why should I even bother with Parley? I'm within my rights to have her head this instant and be home in time for supper. What? You black-hearted devil! Really? That's it? Control your dog, my dear, before he gets someone hurt. <clears throat> now then, your graceliness. Perhaps we can arrange a trade. You give me the fire emblem. And I return Mari contrary here in one piece. <laughs> you would ask for Ulysses' royal treasure? But why? Mm -hmm. Because I know the legend. The Fire Emblem is the key to having all of one's wishes realized. I have desired it for years. YEARS! Yet my birthday comes and goes each year, and nothing from Ulysses. <laughs> Enough. The emblem's power is meant for a single purpose, King Grangle. To save the world and its people at their hour of most desperate need. Would you claim a more noble wish? <laughs> I want what every Plegian wants. A grisly end for every last Ulysses. What could be more noble than that? What? Really, that's it? Surely you have not forgotten that the last exalt did to my people. Your father named us heathens. His crusade across Pelagia butchered countless of my subjects and my kin. <laughs> I have never denied Ulysses' past wrongdoings, but I have sworn to never repeat those mistakes Ours is now a realm of peace. You're an eyesore. Yours is now a haven of hypocrisy. Now give me the fire emblem. No. Your grace, I'd sooner die than act as a bargaining chip for this filthy reprobate. No, Maribel. Uh. Talk, 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 talk. It's time to speak louder than words. The negotiation is over, your luminosity. I shall have the emblem if I have to pry it from your shiny dead hands. Think again. Stay back, or you'll all suffer the same fate. Now that's a declaration of war, if I've ever heard one. A big, messy war that will bleed you, Ulyssians, dry! <laughs> really now? Poor stupid girl. Are you really worth fighting a war over? Years from now, you'll be remembered only as she who destroyed House Ulysses. No. That's not... Oh, Lissa, please, no. <laughs> Maribel, go, you're free! Rickon? What are you doing here? <laughs> Just run. We can talk about it later. Aww. Is this your little boyfriend? Isn't he just precious? Don't talk down to me. You witch! <laughs> Wind magic? We fight together. Come on, Maribel. Wretched whelp! I should... No, our soldiers have them outnumbered. The brats will be dead long before they could reach their comrades. 
Time to start a war, I suppose. And we have a support option for Lissa and Frederick. That'll be helpful for the battle ahead. So in a very untimely or just inappropriate time to do so, let's have a friendly chat with our good old buddies, Lissa and Frederick. That's odd. I could have sworn he was over here some... Aha! There you are, Frederick! Jeez, why the grumpy face? Yes. I fear this is the only face I have, milady. Was there something you needed? Hey! What are you doing back there? Well... Inspecting the contents of our armory for worn or damaged equipment. Oh. I'll help. No. I cannot allow that. You could cut yourself, or accidentally... Do you think I'm an idiot? Honestly, Frederick. Forgive me. I think you are a princess whom I am duty-bound to keep safe. Mm. Yeah, yeah, boring. Really? Is there something you needed from me? Huh? Oh, no, I, I mean, yes, but I wanted to ask you a favor. Right. How may I serve you? Mm-hmm. I want you to train me like you do the others. I'm tired of struggling to keep up with everyone. I want to hold my own. I see. A fine idea. It would be my pleasure to assist in your training. Though I must warn you, I am not a gentle teacher. Be certain you want this. Right. Oh, I am. Well, it looks like Liss is going to be getting in some training. So that's pretty cool. Now back to the battle at hand. Who could we have with us? Uh, we're going to be using our new buddy, Lanku, right off the bat. He is a phenomenal fighter, so I'm really excited to show him off. Uh, I'm okay with having these guys sit out. I guess this is going to be our army. Looking pretty good. So, let's get things started. <clears throat> I have war! I like the idea of him just clearing his throat just to let out a blah ha ha Captain Orton, remain here and take down as many Ulyssians as you can. You can expect reinforcements from the forts as well. Now, do your best at doing your worst. Waha! We're out the enemy. I know war isn't what our team had in mind, but whether or not we have a choice in the matter, it's about to happen, so let's be prepared for the worst of it. Starting things off, pair up the groups. You can go with them, and let's go with Frederick. I'm trying to think of, like, new pairings we have. Longku. I've been incredibly torn as to who I want Longku to be paired up with. I don't think I want to be paired up with any of these people specifically right now, but there's nothing wrong with just pairing people up for the time being. So, Stahl go with Sully. Longku go with Sumia. And no one goes to the bay because no one likes him. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Oh, I could actually reach him over here. That's cool. He's a mage, a dark mage. So we could do that with uh, Sumia or switch to Longku, go all the way down to two damage. But there's a very high chance I think we'll be in for a nice surprise with his first attack. Could be Very glad that didn't bite me in the butt. Hoorah! Something actually went right for me for once. How amazing. Yes, Long Ku's Killing Edge. It increases the likelihood of critical hits. He does critical hits like nobody's stinking business. Killing edges are the stinking best. Killing anything really is... That's really weird out of context. No, there's the killing class of weapons. There's a killing, killer lance and a killer axe, I believe. If you ever find them in shops, get them immediately. Even if you don't need them in the present time, just stock up on them. It's very much worth your time. So I'm going to go with these guys. Uh, I'm going to bring them up here just because they can't travel as much distance as everyone else. But up with all these enemies, I don't know if I really want to do that. Oh, wait, we do have two more allies. Can we control them right now? Yes, we can. Maribel and Rickon. Maribel is a mage, so she cannot attack. Keep that in mind. Rickon is a wind sage, so we got some new magic attacks to try out. Gonna have him equipped to Maribel so she could uh, drag him across the field. And now what are we going to do? We're going to... Uh, how's about go over right here? Switch over to Rickon. And that's as much damage as we're going to do. Uh, how about right here? This guy does a bit more damage. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm really going to be using either of these characters throughout the majority of our adventures. So I don't really want to prioritize them too much. 
Uh, Robin will get rid of them in one hit. That's really cool. Uh, so Kromp, who's at a lower level? Five and seven? What the fruit, Robin? What have you been doing? Okay, Robin's just a stinking beefcake, so we'll leave it to Krom. And thank you for dodging, so we don't take any damage. Very, very good when the headhunters don't get hurt. My strength comes from diligence. Okay, that's good for Krom. That uh, bond increases. Vake, I guess you could just follow along behind. Uh, I, you know what, let me just go over here. Listen, Fed, Fedric, Federation Force or something, I don't know. Uh, since they ain't get hurt, I don't need to worry about healing Krom right now, so we go over here. Attack this guy with Frederick. Uh, it's one HP remaining. You can't reach, so I'll bring Sully up here. And Frederick over here. I was honestly really worried as to how this LP would go in terms of commentary. I know just sort of explain what I'm doing on the screen right now, but like I was immensely worried that this LP would be filled with a bunch of ums and uhs when going through the map and everything. I was really concerned as to whether or not I could even pull off this LP. So I'm enjoying it so far, and I hope you are too. Okay, grow that bond. We are going to finally move along with these guys. Nothing else we can really do. Nothing wrong with not being able to beat an enemy in one hit, but still would always prefer it. So we're just going to go ahead and start things up with that. Just like with Robin's electric attacks, uh, Rickon could attack enemies even if they are right in front of him. So he could attack from a distance or up close and personal. And this guy wants to get beat by Vake, apparently. So we're going to watch that go down. Kind of wish Frederick got the experience, but whatever. Vake gets a level up. Level four. I am invincible, but I don't have any friends. Okay, but I like how we get a uh, friendship increase for uh, Vake and Sully, just because they were close to each other during this attack. Uh, they keep running around over here. Who do we have down here? We have Frederick's group and Lanku's group. I uh, should probably switch over to Sumia so we can fly over these rocks. Uh, next time we go around, Frederick, we are going to... Uh, do we want to go over here? Vake can even get out of here. Uh, yes, he can. Okay. I could beat him with Vake, but I don't really want to. Uh, I think I'm going to leave Vake to grab this thing over here. Yeah, he's just going to be sort of be our treasure collector because I don't really care about him all that much. Uh, Rickon and Maribel. Let's see what we can do with Krom and Robin right now. Could they take out a stronger enemy? Uh, is my above here? Oh, okay, go over here. And we could do that. That looks good to me. Get all them stat buffs. And Robin jumps in, so Krom takes zero damage. Very, very nice. What I like about Krom's weapon, the Falchion, it does not uh, have any uh, limit to how much it could be used. It will never break, so that's very, very awesome. Uh, I still haven't showed off his other sword yet, but maybe we can show that off later in this fight. Uh, can we not even reach anyone else? I don't think uh, defeating this guy will change it. We could certainly try. Uh, go for it, Vague. See what happens. Okay, that's good gets that, but I wanted to see, could Frederick reach that other guy now? Yes, he can! Okay, cool. Uh, oh, I don't, Sully's group, my bad, whatever. Uh, do I want to do it with Sully or with Stahl? Uh, Sully's, Sully's weaker than Stahl? What the fruit? Uh, he's got an iron sword, bronze sword. Huh. I'm not sure which one I would be using more throughout the adventure. I guess we'll stick with Sully for now. Oh, uh, it was because Sully got her butt whooped in the Coliseum, so she might be falling a bit behind on the levels. Which I was not expecting, because Sully's was a single beefcake in my original playthrough. It was like, I remember having so much trouble with the game, it was like, Krom and Sully were the only characters who could ever do anything. But, uh, it's a bit different this time around, because I actually know what I'm doing! Hooray! Who would have thunk it that actually knowing what you're doing in a game helps you play the game? And I'm gonna go over here now, see if I can this guy with Rickon. Not quite, but making good progress. Enemy phase, oh boy. So what's gonna happen now? Uh, a bit more damage than I would have liked, but at least it happens. Okay, get that. Uh, he's gonna go. Oh, he's not gonna go for Rickon, thank god. He would have KO'd him if that happened. Okay, we dodged that, thankfully. They run over here. And, oh, reinforcements are coming for the enemies. Sometimes additional enemies will take the field in the middle of a battle. You could block their entry by placing allied units on spaces where they will appear. Can't really tell most of the time where they're going to appear from. Usually, uh, these little towers or forts, I think that's the main area where they might appear. So if you stand on those, then you can block it. But otherwise, they could just come in from 
the background. You can't really block it. Uh, so Sumia is just like dominating the battlefield right here. So uh, it's 10 HP. We're just gonna go over here and switch to Long Ku. Uh, it looks like we if we get another critical hit, we'll be able to finish this off. Uh, doesn't quite get it, unfortunately. Oh no, he had two opportunities for it, but he missed out. But at least he didn't get hurt. Uh, Rickon could. Uh, do I want to use Rickon or someone else? Let me think. Frederick, you could get rid of this guy, so go for it. Just want to get rid of as many of these guys as possible right now because as soon as the reinforcements came, it was just like a bit too overwhelming for enemy standards, so I kind of want to wrap that up. This guy could go down right now. Sully could take care of him. Vake could take care of him. How about Rickon? I don't want to leave Rickon out for too long, though. Uh, this guy could come all the way down here, so I should move Rickon because I don't want him getting killed. Such low HP. Uh, okay, at least get rid of him. Uh, super close to a level, but not quite. Sully. I uh, should have. Maybe I should have KO'd him with Sully. I'm not sure. Whatever. Uh, go this guy with Krom. And dodge that. And we're good! Finished. Okay, reinforcements didn't do a whole lot of damage on their end, so that's always good. And we could have Sully grab this. She's gonna be like, what the heck is this? Th oh, I forgot we gave her the Beast Killer. Uh, we should switch that over. Oh, and another Lance! A superior Lance, though she can't use it. Uh, let's see. Hit a 50 plus when the enemy has a Lance equipped, so it's good against other Lance users. Uh, let's see if we could trade that off to either Frederick or... Uh, do we have any other Lance users with us? I don't think so. Uh, I think Callum is a Lance user, but he's not with us in this group right now. Vake, you could stand here, I guess. Uh, this, yeah, you heal when you're in the fort, so you, there's another good reason why you'd want to stand inside them. Uh, thank you, Long Ku, for dodging that. Another reason why I love Long Ku is because he's voiced by Travis Willingham, one of the greatest voice actors of all time. So, that's always a good reason to use him in battle. Oh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven characters left. My god. Uh, let's see, can we reach this guy? We can't reach him with Frederick, oh. Let's go over here. Prom is just dominating literally everyone right now. No one could stand in his way. So gonna keep on doing that. And up next is Team Frederick. Get him all the way up here, because he can handle anyone and anything that comes in his way. He's level 3, and he's just destroying literally everyone. I wanted to see if I could trade, but it's a bit too far away. Uh, Rickon, I should probably switch to Maribel just so I could protect his HP a bit more. Uh, do I want to get rid of Wonku? Wonku's already level 4, so he's also level 4. I'll give her the chance just so we can switch over to her and have her fly uh, super far away in the next turn. Victory! Victory! I'm really loving all this. Like, I'm having fun with all the different strategies I'm making up. Uh, let's see. Rickon, you can't do much. I guess we'll just stand over here. Eh, that's a bit risky because, yeah. How about just stand here, switch to Maribel. I guess we could have her heal Krom's 1 HP just so she could get a little bit of experience. She heals 19 HP, so she's a much better uh, mage at, uh, with, than Lissa because not only is she a horse rider, so she moves uh, across the field very easily, she also heals a lot more HP. So uh, if, you wanna, if you're want to, you not as attached to the main cast as I am, you might want to switch Lissa out for Maribel because there's really no reason not to. At least at this point in time. Uh, that's a lot of damage for Sumia. Uh, this is the part where Sumia is starting to get a little... Oh, she's a Lance user. Maybe we could give it to her then. Uh, Sully, please don't fail me right now. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, decent damage, but not quite enough. And it turns out the business end of my sword is me, even though he is a Lance. Another reinforcement. This might be one of those battles where you don't want to get rid of every single enemy. You just want to sort of uh, get the main head honcho and then call it a day. Uh, let's see. There might be no end to them, honestly. You might just have to go ahead and do it. Uh, how about I go over here, trade with Frederick, 
Uh, Sully has the superior lance. Uh, give her a Volinari, I guess, just so we could... He could use the superior lance. I guess we'll just give it to him. Oh, he's got two of them? Okay, that's weird. Uh, huh. I will use a Volinari just because I'm actually going to be smart with my items for once. But I, attack I can't attack and use an item at the same time? God darn it. I guess it's like Pokemon, but... Uh, I think it would happen. I'll put Frederick over here. Let's go ahead and do that. At least it's one hit KO because Frederick is crazy like that. Uh, let's see. We're going to. Huh. Guess we'll stand over here and switch to Long Ku. Let him finish it off. And there's Long Ku doing what he does best. Okay, get a couple of experience right there. Vague is kind of useless as usual. Uh, we can't attack from here? Oh, it's Maribel and Rick, and I thought it was Crum and Robin. Okay, go over here. Uh, huh. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. Could. Could Rickon kill this guy? I doubt it. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Guess we'll. No, oh, you can't do that. Both gonna be short. Uh, I guess we'll go for it. Might be a little too risky. Oh, hey! Karam is just completely wiping away my worries with a critical hit. Okay, get that experience. So he's at full HP, so it doesn't really matter if we got two enemies about to come at us. Feel huge difference. Very, very good. Next. Uh, can't quite reach those guys. Could heal, but I don't want to, so I'll just chillax for now. Vague, go up here, and that's it. What do we got now? A couple of damage, but not that we can't handle. Right. Yeah, that's my concern, because we beat him in one hit, now we're going to have the other guy come in and get all in our face. As long as we could survive it. Oh, five damage? No problem. Okay, and Robin came in and helped us, which is very, very nice. I'm just an absolute pro. Oh, maybe I'm not an absolute pro. Oh, no. Okay, thank you for dodging. Kind of necessary. Okay, Krom got like a gajillion levels of this episode. Switch over to Robin now. Uh, you obtain weapon level C. Cool beans. Okay, no, that's really bad. No. I won't ask for your name, only your life. Okay, Orlon, what's up with you? You're not allowed to leave your post. You're a boss! Thank you, Robin. You're a lifesaver, quite literally. Oh, God. What do we want to do now? Well, I want to see. Can I get over here? Yes, I can. Long Ku. Long Ku, or, okay, it's going to have to be Long Ku. Just want to get rid of this guy for some more experience. Go and do that. Very, very nice. Monku well, got a level 5. Better. <laughs> In a few words, but uh, his actions definitely speak louder than words. Uh, Maribel, heal Krom immediately. Thank you. Okay, get all that healed up. A lot more experience. Uh, switch to Robin. Go down to 5. Frederick, I assume you could kill him in one hit because you're Frederick. You can't, okay. Well, we could let Robin get the finishing blow, at least. And there we go. Oh. Now, the unfortunate thing is, he's standing... He's not standing on that? Huh. I'm worried that if we finish the battle um, right here, we won't get what's right on this spot. So, I'm going to take a risk, switch to Robin. Don't attack, just to get this. Uh, don't mind if I do. She gets a soothing sword. How wonderful. And now we just sort of gotta wait it out. End the turn. Hopefully he doesn't murder us. Okay, Maribel, I was not expecting that. Oh, God. Robin, finish this guy off. You can do this. This matters not. 
Soon war will be upon your soil. <laughs> Now that's what I call progress, my favorite line. Very good way to end things off. Got a Boolean M. I think that's just a buttload of money. Robin and Crom are the MVPs, because of course they are. <laughs> Maribel, are you hurt? My humble thanks. Nothing I didn't return to full, darling. Hey. I'm glad you're safe. Who? Oh, it's you. Oh. Yes, I know you're not especially fond of me, but it's a relief just the same. <sighs> oh, it's not a question of fondness. I'm simply protective of Alyssa. My treasure is very sensitive and... <sighs> Wait, am I really justifying myself to a commoner? Gods. Yes, well, I do apologize for being curt and... and... Gratitude. And you have my thanks for your part in this rescue. There, I said it. Sister, forgive me. I acted rashly. <gasps> it's alright, Krom. King Grangle is the one at fault here. You were only protecting me. Shall we then? The Mad King will be rallying his forces if they have not mobilized already. I suggest we make haste back to Yulistol and discuss our strategy. <laughs> of course, Frederick. It seems war is upon us. We must protect the Yulistian people at all costs. We may have won the battle, but the war is yet to start. Whether we like it or not, that's what we have to face next time on Fire Emblem Awakening. Next time, we'll discuss the plans for the road ahead. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.